hello friends welcome back to the channel in today's video we will see how to send an email with attachment using the cron job so basically today we will create a cron job wherein we fetches the data from the database put the data with the needed attributes in an excel sheet and then we'll attach that excel sheet in the email and send that email with attachment to the desired audience so we will see if you want to trigger uh, send that email to a multiple audience then how you can do that if you want to send to a single person then how you can do that so all these things we will see today so for that what we will do first is in the items.xml our custom in our custom extension the extension that we have created while setting up the hybrids in our local so in that we have created one item type which is extending the cron job item type so in the previous videos we have already seen how to create a cron job if you have not yet seen the video then the link of the video is present in the description box and also in the top right section of your screen you are seeing the details for the full tutorial so we have created an item type get order details cron job now let's go to the spring.xml so in the spring.xml we have created a bean which is extending the abstract job performable so you are all are aware of that uh, in this bean in this class basically we will define our custom logic we write our custom logic so we will go to the class get order details job so here we have created uh, this perform we have overridden this perform result perform method wherein we are passing the cron job model and then what it is doing is it is fetching the details of the orders that are present in the system so it is basically fetching all the order details so for that we have written a service class test order service so in the spring.xml you can see that we have created one interface test order service and we have provided the implementation class of it so this is how if you want to create a service class or DAO class then this is how you define it you create uh, the interface and then uh, in the class you always provide the implementation class of that particular interface so we have created this test order service class right uh, sorry interface we have created and its implementation uh, we have provided in the test order service npl so you can go in here and open the implementation if you do that you will go to the implementation class which is test order service impl which you are seeing in here right so this is how you create the service class a new service class so if you go here in the test order service impl then again it is calling the dao right so test order dao is our interface okay and the implementation of it we have given in the test order DAO MPL which you are seeing in here so again in here we have provided the same in the same fashion the interface and its implementation so here if you see then we have written a query fetch all orders which basically is fetching all the order orders that is present in the system if you want to modify query like on a date basis you want to uh, fetch the records then you can modify the query or if you want to like uh, if your requirement is something else then you can modify the uh, query accordingly like if you want to check uh, orders placed for some particular store or orders placed uh, by some customer so if all details you want then you can fetch you can modify the query and then fetch the details in here i am simply fetching all the orders that are present in the system so once this is done then 
in here we have all the list of order which is present then after that what I am doing is I am iterating one by one I am going to the uh, list of order model and then we are create, creating the CSV row so if you go in here then it is what it is doing is it is simply putting the order code so from the order model we are fetching the order code and we are putting it in the string and then we are returning the string right and that thing we are storing in the result output after that what we are doing is we have written one method send email in that we are passing this string and we are passing the list of order model so in here the main concept is written related to the sending of the email and attaching the uh, and creating the csv file and attaching that csv file to uh, the email so in this send email what we are doing is we are creating a address model so this is the from email right so basically if uh, a, a user receive uh, mail then he should know from which email ID the uh, mail is coming so for that we have created one uh, email from email then it is the two emails so if you want to simply send to one person right so uh, we will create this list of email address model and we will simply write to email and then the name of the person if similarly you want to uh, send it to more than one person then what you can do is you can create one another email address uh, object of email address model and add that particular address in here similarly if you want to cc someone then you can do that in here then uh, whatever emails that you have created in the to email and for the cc email that you have added in the list to emails list and then the cc email uh, list respectively after that what we are doing is we are calling the out of the box email service create email message method in which we are passing the to email cc email from email so if you open this uh, its implementation so if you open the implementation of this create email message method then here you will see the list of uh, the, the basically the parameters which is being passed so it is like to address cc address if you want to send uh, like bcc someone then you can add that as well then from where the mail is coming and then if you want uh, to add the reply to address right what should be the subject of the mail if you want to add a body then you can add that as well and then the attachment so you have to pass these uh, parameters and then out of the box Habris will take care of each and everything but uh, if you want to check something then you can go to this default email service class and then you can check the uh, the details related to this methods so we have passed all these then uh, in order to create the attachment we have written one method and then we are passing the result output so result output is nothing here in the result output we are fetching uh, we are iterating the order model one by one and then simply adding the code order code so that we have passed in the attachment right now what we are doing is here we are setting the catalog version and then using the data input stream here we are uh, here we are creating the csv uh, sheet the with the attachment and uh, we are doing the attachment in here so in this method this is what we are doing and then at the end once this will happen we'll get the email model we are triggering the email service dot send and we are passing the email model in here and 
after that once we will send the mail after that what will happen is we are removing the uh, emails basically why this is required this is required because if you will not uh, remove the email details then when the next time you will run the cron job you will get the error the ambiguity error it will say that the email address is already present in the system so that is why it will not be able to trigger the email so friends this is all the setup basically which you require in order to send uh to send email with attachment using the cron job so there is basically a separate email process as well which we can set up so for that i'll create a separate video on how to create an email process but as of now you can uh, understand that with these steps right you can uh, create a cron job which can uh, send mail with attachment now we have written the code but in order to uh, send the mail we have to configure the smtp uh, port and server right so for that what i am doing is i am using in order to show i am using fake smtp server in my local so uh, this is the server that i have set up and here you are seeing that the listening port I have uh, is 25 so from where it is coming it is coming from here we ca you can always configure this port right so if you go to your local dot properties file right so you have to provide the SMTP server and port here I have provided the SMTP port as 25 right and uh, the server as local host so that is why I am uh, in the fake SMTP. Uh, I am, I am uh, providing the listening port as 24, 25. So basically, this is the property uh, mail.smtp.server and mail.smtp.port, which you can overwrite in your local.properties files or environment specific property files. So uh, if like you have uh, using if you are using some port if, or if for testing purpose you want uh, the gmail you you want that email should be triggered from your gmail account then here you have to like put this mail smtp server for the google uh, uh, server and then the port of that and plus you have to provide the user name and the password so we have one property mail uh, dot user and then mail dot password so uh, that you can use now once this will done what we will do is we will start the server so for that first i will set the environment and we'll do aunt all and we'll start the hybrid server as well in parallel now let's wait for this server to be up now here we can see that the server has started successfully now for the next step what we will do we will go to the hsc and update the system because we have created a new item type for this cron job right so that is why we have to update the system so let's go to the hsc now once you go to the hsc we will update the system so for that go to the platform and then click on update here we don't have to create the essential data so we'll uncheck this box right and then we will click on the update let's wait for the update to be finished now here we can see that the update happened successfully now the next step is we have to run the impacts in order to create the cron job so that we can uh, run it from the back office we can see that in the back office so for that in order to run the impacts what we will do is we will go to this console and then impacts import this is the impacts we are running so what is this we are creating this service layer job right and uh, then we are creating the uh, this cron job get order detail cron job all these details i will put in the description as well as i'll share the code with you guys as well 
now let's validate it and click on then import once import is successful we will go to the back office once you go to the back office here we will type cron job once you will type cron right here you will see the cron jobs click on it now you can see here that the job is created get auto details cron job is created we will open it once it is open we will trigger it so here we'll go here and we'll click on run cron job once it is done here you can see that sending email happened so it triggers the email right now how we will check it we will open this fake smtp server so here we can see that two mails we are seeing in here from it is no reply at the rate yopmail.com the email id which we have defined in here now in the two email i have written mohit trivedi 1512 at the rate gmail.com and in the cc emails i have written this mohit at the rate yopmail.com so if you check here it is the same email address right and in the subject i have mentioned order details so that thing you can check in here so it is coming right now let's open the mail so once the email is open let's check the detail of the mail here in the heading we can see that it is order details right which we have given in here in the body we are seeing order details so if you check in the body we have given the order details which is coming now here we have defined the email right but for the display name for the two mail i have given mohit space trivedi and for cc i have given just mohit so the same thing you will see in here that in the two i am getting the full name and in the cc i am getting just mohit and not the email id so this is uh, you can do here as well not talking about the attachment so first see the naming convention so for that if you go here in the create then here in the it is order details right order details then the current date and it is ending with the extension dot csv so if you see it is the order details then today's date dot csv so that is the naming convention now let's open this attachment here what is this order details right so if you see here in the result output this is the string which we have passed so in the header we are we have given order details we can set the other uh, details like a specific header as well we can add in here and in the csv row where we are creating the csv row what we are doing is we are simply fetching the order code from the order model we are simply fetching the code right and we are returning it so if you see here we have the details the order code which is present in here so this way friends you can create the attachment and send it over mail by using the cron job hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it you have learned something new then please subscribe the channel like the video pro provide your valuable feedback as part of the comments and also please share it with your friends